Right guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be diving into the differences between these three crankshafts and what makes this one especially unique. So we have the M111 975 crankshaft, the M111 983 crankshaft and the OM601 crankshaft that we're going to be using in our Frankenboost build. We're also going to check out the differences between the M111 975 connecting rods and the M111 983 connecting rods. But first, I've noticed that about 80% of you still aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified every time we upload some new content. With that said, like, comment and share. Help us grow, help us reach more people. Let's get to it. So we are going to get into the weights of these crankshafts, but let's start with the stroke. So the M111975 and the M111983 EVO both share the same 88.4mm stroke, whereas our diesel OM601 crankshaft actually has 92.4mm stroke. And what this will do to an M111 engine with the 145mm M102 connecting rods will actually turn it into a... 2.4 litre engine with a lot more swept area so hopefully our compression ratio should be around 8.1 to 1 on our Franken boost engine in theory. That said the visual difference is quite apparent when you look at the counterweight on the M111983 crankshaft you can see that the counterweight is substantially smaller than both the OM601 and the M111975 and this is because they actually lighten the rods on the M111983 and we'll get into that shortly I'll show you the difference because the difference surprised even me those of you that have seen the short will have already seen the difference but we'll get into it in this video Right guys, so we're now ready to start weighing the crank. So I already think that the M111983 EVO crank is going to be the lightest based on the size of the actual counterweights. They seem to be a reasonable amount smaller than the OM601 and the M111975 crankshaft. So we will start with that one and then see how the weights go up from there. So we've got 15.65 on that one, which, you know, yeah, that's not too heavy. That's quite a lightweight crankshaft, considering how cumbersome this thing really is. So we can only go up from here. Now we'll do the M111975. Well, my eyes must deceive me, because we have exactly 15.65. Which is bizarre, because I'm sure those counterweights look smaller than these ones. Well, that's a shot. So the next one. Try not to knock the camera getting this. That was not elegant. Right, so the OM601 crankshaft is 17.9, so that's what we'd expect. We would expect the diesel crankshaft to be heavier because diesel engines typically use heavier connecting rods. But that's quite interesting. So these are probably, highly likely, near enough the same crankshaft. The only difference I am noticing with these is the fact that this is sort of protruding the E23. Everything is sort of, uh, what do you call it? It's not embossed, it's the opposite. Um, whereas this, the older 975, everything is embossed into it. Right, so we've scaled down a little bit now and it's time to look at the connecting rods. So, obviously, earlier in the video, showed about the differences between the two connecting rods and how visually they look very different and how this one looks inherently weaker than this one. So that said, let's find out what these weigh. So 
So the original M111975 connecting rod is 300 grams. The shorter M102 connecting rod is actually 319 grams. Interesting. And the M111983 Evo rod actually comes out as the heaviest connecting rod of all of them at 343 grams. How does that make sense? So what I believe has happened here is actually the chemical makeup of the or the compound makeup of the rod. So it may be made of a denser material than what these earlier rods are made from. But I am still surprised, and to be honest, you can kind of feel it. It's not a huge amount difference, so the chances of I'm actually feeling it or it's a placebo effect, you know, you can't really tell. But the fact that this rod is heavier, despite it being the weakest looking of the rods, is quite surprising, to be honest. Did not expect that, and I'm sure you guys didn't either. So that wraps it up for today's video and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find these kind of videos useful and informative. I'm trying to share as much knowledge and information as I can as I go along through this build. I'm learning just as much as you guys are but I'm trying to share it so you guys don't have to put in all the work. That said like share subscribe really appreciate it help the channel grow we have gained a massive amount of subscribers over the past two weeks so that has been fantastic let's hope this trend carries on up and if you guys find this useful please drop a comment and uh, yeah just drop a comment share do anything you can to help us out we really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one